This is Finop Consults and welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about the frequently asked questions and troubleshooting for candidates. Uh, uh, our main topic is basically on Test Godilla, which is your ultimate platform for talent assessments and skill-based hiring. Uh, today basically as you can see on my screen, uh, there are various questions that we'll be going through. Uh, some of us, we have encountered some of them, uh, but again, emphasizing the disclaimer, Test Gorilla is not a personal testing service. As you can see what I've highlighted, it's not a personal testing service. And the emphasis is that to take an assessment on their platform, you need an invitation from a potential employer to begin your application. In our previous video, I tried to elaborate more on this, and for your personal uh, um, free test samples or test assessments you must have a work email an email from your workplace or yes but you must have a work email not a personal email like gmail gmail will not work unless you have a work email uh, that one it will work so and they emphasize again that account creation is exclusively for hiring companies if you've been invited to take an assessment, there's no need to create an account with us. I tried to show you this in the previous video, whereby you just have to click somewhere and use the same email that you used with the hiring company when you're trying to fill in the respective information or uh, for the respective jobs. Automatically, you will be logged in. And even the hiring company will send you something which you have to use to access the platform. So... Uh, to begin with your assessment, just click on the invitation in the email. Yes, as I've said, they'll send you an email, the hiring company. And please remember that uh, it's not possible to preview questions and answers if, uh, because of issues of integrity to ensure that every candidate has an equal chance to shine. So, uh, diving into down here, you can see assessment tests, different questions. Question number one, it talks about uh, are the tests available in different languages? I've been getting this so much on my YouTube channel and today uh, I'm answering that. You can sit down here. Yes, currently Test Gorilla offers a number of different languages as you can see English, Spanish, Dutch, German, French, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, uh, Danish, among others. However, there is a disclaimer down here. You can only take your assessment in the language chosen by your prospective employer. You cannot say uh, the employer uh, is uh, giving the assessment in English and for you want to do it in Spanish. No. The languages depend on your prospective employer. If you need to take the assessment in different language, you need to contact the company that sent you the assessment. Hope that is clear. Very important to note. Another question is, um, can I go back to the previous, let me highlight it. Can I go back to the previous question? That is very important. As you're answering, as you're answering your questions, I you reach a point, uh, you see something similar that you answered and then you feel like you're not comfortable with, you want to go back. Yeah, the answer to the question, can I go back to the previous question? No, you cannot. If you attempt to skip a question, we will warn you that you cannot return to it. Even though, yes, the emphasis in the, the screen will warn you that you cannot return to it. So ensure that you answer whatever question you have. Try guessing. Yeah, they're emphasizing. Ensure that you answer to the question. Try guessing. There isn't a penalty for wrong answers. Better score a point through luck than skip. Hope that is answered. Another question is, can I try an assessment again? The answer is no. Your invitation link can be shared or sent to you, and it is used once, and it will expire once you have completed the assessment. So, if you have a concern about your performance and you would like to try again, contact the company that sent you the assessment. Hope that is also clear. Then, another question is, I have a condition that affects my ability to memorize or concentrate. Do you provide accommodations for me? And the answer is yes. Conditions such as uh, ADD, ADH may affect your memory and concentration abilities at the start of the assessment. You can request for an accommodation. And there is a particular note here to emphasize the matter. Your request is private. We'll, we'll be asked if you'd like to inform the employer that you requested an accommodation. This is optional. So, I hope that answers that. 
Uh, next is, I followed the link, but it says the assessment is no longer available and the assessment is currently unavailable. Uh, this is something in control of the company you apply to. It could be that you already closed, they, clo they already closed the assessment and you need to contact the employer. Test Gulia cannot make an assessment available if the company has chosen to take it offline. So, uh, for instances, in you, uh, where I am, what the company does, it sends out emails. Uh, once you get these emails, the, campus, the company emphasizes the dates when you're going to take your assessment and the time. So, you have to ensure that by that time you're on the laptop, uh, in a place which is a bit convenient for you, uh, the camera is working, you have a, you know, a, clear, a clear and a <coughs> a proper room. So as you take the assessment, so the company or the, the prospective employer will inform you the date when you are going to take the assessment. So once you find that the assessment is no longer available, probably you missed out on the dates. Hope that is answered also. Moving on to the other, I need more time to complete my assessment. <laughs> that is interesting. If a company has set a deadline, you should take the appropriate steps to complete the assessment within the time frame. That is a bit straightforward. Um, then, I want to take a test. This is a good question. I want to take a test. Um, and then test, uh, the test goal says, they do not offer any tests for personal use, studying or education purposes, nor do we issue certificates for our completion. So, test goal does not offer anything like that for personal use, no. But what test goal will offer you is, I also share the link in the description, is a trial or <coughs> a free trial. But also on the free trial, uh, they will give you a few questions and you see how you respond to the answers. <clears throat> but there's no way you're going to find the questions and answers, no. Because we talked about that integrity issues. Then, next question is, the assessment ended only after a few questions. Probably because of maybe power or something. Yeah, this also happens and it's a bit challenging whereby most of these, these are big companies that are engaging you. You won't even have a time or you have someone you can easily access for you to have the assessment or the issues resolved immediately. So, the company you applied for has likely included a qualifying question in the assessment. Uh, these are used to ensure that only candidates who meet the minimum requirements can take the full assessment. If, if one of your answers disqualifies you, the assessment will end, saving you time. Yeah, that is also like a criteria which you have to meet. You answer some questions and... Uh, by a certain step or a phase of questions, whatever you've answered is not meeting the criteria automatically uh, based on what the employer requested test goalier to customize the assessment, it automatically save, saving you time and this that disqualifies you. And in most cases, the employer will make or share this in the emails to notify you. Uh, because if you believe that you have been disqualified by mistake, you should directly contact the company that invited you. Test God has no authority to allow you to take the assessment. Hope that is noted. And then uh, and the next question is, what happens if I run out of time? Uh, this is another good question. If your time expires an of an individual test or question, your progress is saved. The next question or test will, uh, will begin. Yes. In most cases, when you're doing the test, you'll be maybe trying to think around uh, and the time is, is running down on each question. So, meaning that the time runs down, the next question will appear, meaning you'll miss out a mark on the other. That's why they say, it, at least you should try guessing or something like that. Yes, better try your luck than missing out completely. So, if you run out of time on the last question, the assessment will be marked as complete and the results will be sent to the company. Why did the timer continue counting down when I left the test? Uh, this one is one of the measures that ensures the integrity of the test results. This cannot be turned off, even if you completed the test and closed. This is now on the side of test Godzilla. Yes, it's between them and the test. It, it should only be taken between tests. Yeah, uh, there, there's something I was, I was missing out here, breaks. Yes, within as you're taking your uh, your assessment, uh, the system or this, the test goal leader will notify you of the breaks, that now you have a break of maybe one minute or two minutes for you to rest and resume or and, take, or and move to the next phase. Yes, always those, those breaks will be there in the various uh, assessments. Um, I, and I think uh, with this, uh, for today's video, we shall end here and then we'll have our next video starting from there. 
thank you please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, uh, comment in the link below in case you have any questions that you need, you need to find out uh, from from test leader i can share that with them and uh, we can have feedback which i can share with you see you next time